3G, division of integers. Okay, so we've talked about multiplication of integers. Now we're going to talk about division of integers. And I can tell you, division of integers, not really much more difficult than multiplication of integers. Because I tell you to say that addition and subtraction are essentially the same operation. Adding a negative number is the same as subtracting a positive number. Right? And multiplication and division are essentially the same operation. And especially when we get into fraction, fractions, you'll see how that works. But they are essentially the same. That's why when you're talking about order of operations, multiplication and division occur at the same time going left to right. Addition and subtraction occur at the same time going left to right. Because they're essentially the same operation. So just like we had with multiplication, we can look at, well, what are the signs when you deal with division? Well, if you have a positive number divided by another positive number, then you're going to get a positive result. If you have a negative number divided by another negative number, then you're going to have a positive result. If you have a positive number divided by a negative number, you're going to have a, a negative result. And if you have a negative number divided by a positive number, you're going to have a negative result. So we can see, just as we had with multiplication, that if we are dividing numbers of the same sign, the result's going to be positive. If we're dividing numbers of opposite signs, the results are going to be negative. Now, the one thing I can say with this is you can't, multi you can't divide numerous numbers at the same time. So we can't divide five numbers at the same time. You have to do it two at a time, two at a time, you know, and keep working our way through. Whereas multiplication, we could kind of look at a whole thing and then go through it. So division, it gets a little bit easier. So if the signs are the same, the result is positive. If the signs are different, the result is negative. Other than that, it's just division. So if you can do regular division, you can do sign division. Negative 15 divided by positive 3. Signs are different. Result will be negative. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 24 divided by negative 2. Signs are different. The result is negative. 24 divided by 2, 12. Negative 18 divided by <clears throat> negative 6. Negative 18 divided by negative 6. The signs are the same. Therefore, the result is positive. <clears throat> 18 divided by 6 is 3. And remember, you don't have to put that positive sign there. If we do not put a sign in front of it, it is assumed that it is positive. Negative 50 divided by 10. Did I have to put those parentheses there? No, I did not. But I chose to in this particular case. Negative 50 divided by 10. Signs are opposite. The result's going to be negative. 50 divided by 10 is 5. And there you go. You have division of integers. Well, I'm going to bring something else into play here. It's going to affect us more. I keep using that F word when we're dealing with fractions. Right? But let me show this to you. And I think you'll find it useful, if not now, a little later on. Remember that when you're dealing with division, you can write division as some number divided by some other number, right? That's another way of writing division. So if I have negative a divided by negative b, The signs are the same, therefore we have positive A over B. Makes sense, right? Well, if I have negative A 
divided by positive b. The signs are different. Therefore, we have negative a divided by b. If I have negative, sorry, make that a divided by negative b, the signs are different, so we're going to have negative a divided by b. Right? Now notice that since if the signs are different, we get a negative result, that negative a divided by b gave us negative a over b, and a divided by negative b gave us negative a over b. So negative a over b is equal to, or negative a divided by b is equal to a divided by negative b is equal to negative a divided by b. So let me just put that all in one line. Negative a divided by b is equal to a divided by negative b is equal to negative a divided by b. So these are all equivalent. They're all saying the same thing, which allows us to move that negative sign around. I can, I can express this as negative a over b, a over negative b, or negative a over b. So if I have a problem that's written as a divided by negative b, I can turn that into negative a divided by positive b. Or I can turn that into negative a divided by b. And that's where I'm saying that actually comes into effect when we deal with fractions, where we're able to move around the negative signs. But that's division of integers.